Good morning students. I welcome you all and I hope you all are staying safe and studying regularly. Students, today we are going to start chapter number 2 that is working with Windows 7. In this chapter, we are going to cover the following topics. That is features of Windows 7, working with files and folders, how to restore files and folders. Before we discuss these topics, let's revise operating system that we studied in class 3. An operating system is an interface or link between the hardware, other software and users. It is the main software of the computer. Its job is to ensure all the internal functions of the computer run smoothly along with presenting a smooth interface for the users. At present, Windows uses graphical user interface GUI. We have different types of operating systems as you can see Windows, Android, Apple, Ubuntu and so on. Do you know that Windows 7 is the most used operating system in the world? Before we discuss other features of Windows 7, let's have an overview. This is the start button. This is the task bar. This one. This is the quick launch bar. And this one is the show desktop button. This is the notification area. So let's discuss the, these features of Windows 7 one by one. First is the start button. To the extreme left of the taskbar, there is the start button. It looks like this. When we just click on this, so it allows us to access all the computer programs and configure Microsoft Windows easily by accessing the Start menu. This is the Start menu and we can access all the programs by just clicking on this and also configure Microsoft Windows from here. Along with this, we have the Shutdown button. The option to switch off the computer is also present on the Start menu with other options like switch user, log off, lock, restart, sleep, hibernate, etc. Another feature of Windows 7 is the taskbar. This is the taskbar. The bar at the bottom of the desktop is called the taskbar. Next feature of Windows 7 is quick launch bar. The quick launch bar shows you the list of active programs on the taskbar as you can see over here and frequently used programs can be pinned on it. Next feature of Windows 7 is the notification area. This is the notification area. The notification area shows important details like the status of the internet connection, volume control option, date and time and any computer security related details will be notified here. Next feature is the show desktop button. On the extreme right of the taskbar is the show desktop button. Clicking this button minimizes all the windows and shows the desktop. If you click again then the previously opened program windows will appear again. Now, next feature of Windows 7 is the jump list. One right click on any active program icon on the taskbar will show you a list of options including the recently opened documents of the same programs, option to pin the program to the taskbar and also to close the program. This is called the jump list. It has been introduced in Windows 7. Next feature is gadgets. These small pictures that you see are the gadgets. Gadgets are mini programs which can be accessed from gadgets gallery. 
and gadgets gallery can be accessed by right clicking on the desktop and selecting the gadget option. When you click on the gadgets option then the gadget gallery will open before you and you whatever gadget you want to add on to the desktop screen just do the right click on that gadget and two options will appear over here click on add when I say click it means the left click then that particular gadget will be added to the screen next feature is libraries different folders of documents music live pictures videos are put together as subfolders within the library folder in windows 7 next feature of windows 7 is devices two major interfaces devices and printer and device stage have been introduced in windows 7 next feature of windows 7 is the shortcut menu if you right click on any desktop icon it will open a pop-up menu with a list of options like this you can see so many options over here different icons when right click will show different options all these lists that open on right click are called the shortcut menu this is the shortcut menu even a context menu is also called a shortcut menu you can see the options given here in both the shortcut menu are different next feature of windows 7 is the cascading windows this is another new feature introduced in windows 7 with the help of cascading feature you can see all the programs and application windows nicely stacked in an arranged manner just right click on the taskbar and click the cascade windows feature let's see so I have these windows opened on my screen as you can see this is the first window and this is another and many more when I just did the right click on the taskbar this kind of menu opened before me I clicked on the cascade window and all these windows got arranged like this in a nicely way you can see there are so many windows one two three four okay these all got got nicely stacked in an arranged manner right let's move on to the next topic that is files and folders you know all the data that we have on the computer is it's available in the form of files and folder a file is a collection of information stored in any format on any storage device it it can be stored in the hard disk drive on a pen drive or on CD DVD etc a file always carry a name without name there is no file if you suppose you are going to work on the computer you created a new file it needs a name with otherwise you may lose your data now these are the different icons of different uh, programs so these are the files of different programs you can see and all these pictures differs from each other this is the word file this is notepad file and this is a paint file you can easily figure out which file belongs to which programs so these small pictures are known as icon that is what GUI does <coughs> next is the folder a folder is a way of organizing files on a computer it is a storage space where many files are stored you can also keep a folder inside a folder and this is an empty folder and this is the folder with the files so your folder is basically like your school bag and the files are like your books and notebooks when you have so many books then you keep all those books and notebooks inside your bag so that your books and notebooks don't get lost in the same way your folder keeps all your files stored at one place so that all your files don't get mixed up or may get lost here I we are going to do some practical work I know you enjoy a lot the, about the practical work so what we are going to learn here we are going to create a file we are going to save a file rename a file delete it restore it and also we are going to learn how to create a folder 
how to name a folder open a folder inserting a folder into a file basically these features all are same with the folder also renaming saving delete restore all are these quite alike let's show you how to do it so first of all you have to click on this start button then suppose i want to create my file in word so i'm going to do the left click on this program and the program will be opened before you here you have to click do the left click on the blank document when i say left click it means you have to click it once and double click means you have to do the press the left button twice here your file is here so you are just going to create a new file this is the new file and it is not saved so to save the file we have to go on the file tab do the left click here and then click on save do the left click on browse now this kind of save as window will appear before you here and these are the locations where you can save your file here i'm going to click on desktop so i have chosen the location over here now give it a name suppose i'm giving it the name student right and then click on save button here your file is saved and you can see the name of the file on the title bar so this is the desktop and we choose the same location for our file so our file is here now we are going to rename the file do the right click on this and then go on the rename option do the press the left button and now you can give it a new name suppose i am giving it name covid 19 right now so we have renamed the file now i am showing you how to delete it again do the right click go on the delete option click left button once and it will ask you are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin if you want to move it to the recycle bin click on yes if you don't want to do it then click on no here we have to choose yes let's check it out in the recycle bin yes double click on this and you can see the file is already here covid nine now we want to bring it back from the recycle bin do the right click and first option is restore press the left button once and our file already is here on the desktop students you must take care while you delete the file it might happen that you may by mistake you may delete important files also so take care now we have created a file we have saved a file we have renamed a file we deleted it and restored it back i hope you got all these very clearly now let's create a new folder do the right click on the desktop point to the new uh, option and a sub menu will appear like this so here we are going to do the left click on the folder option and a folder will appear give it any name suppose i am giving the name corona right now we will learn how to insert a file into a folder so this is the file we want to insert into the folder press the left mouse button keep holding the left mouse left mouse button and move the mouse and bring it on to the folder and here release the left mouse button so let's check it out whether our file is there inside the folder or not Dub now i'm telling you how to open a folder okay double click the left mouse button on the folder and here our the folder has already opened and here is our file let's close it so this was the one way to open a folder another way is do the right click on the folder and first option is open do the left click here and your folder is already opened so students i hope you understand all the topics here very clearly what i just taught you okay
let's see what we have just learned today in the chapter we learned about gadgets libraries task bar jump list devices cascading windows quick launch bar start button notification area show desktop button shortcut menu files and folders and all these were the features of windows 7 So students I hope you understood all the topics very clearly and you will revise all what I taught you thank you so much have a nice day bye bye take care